Grateful Christmas. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Art. I would love to invite you to Grateful Christmas. This is where I teach you how to create artwork centered around the theme Christmas. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a Christmas scene with the three wise men headed towards the new star to find baby Jesus. This is my fourth year doing Grateful Christmas, so I have several Christmas art projects all ready for you to choose from. And from now on, we're going to be doing Christmas art projects into December. Here's how you can get access to all of these fun videos. Go to createfulart.com and there you will find Grateful Christmas and how to sign up and then you'll see all the Christmas art projects and the supplies that you need for them. I'm so glad you're joining me and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the bell next to it and go tell your friends. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the night sky. To make this easy, I'm just going to use my wash brush. I'm going to put it in my blue that I've already made up here and put this on my entire canvas. Just paint from side to side, pushing that paint to the edge and then it gets rid of those brush strokes. Go ahead and paint your canvas the dark blue. To get your white stars, what you're going to do is take an old brush that's bristly or you can get an old toothbrush and I'm going to dip it in my white. Okay, just dip it straight into your white, kind of move the paint around so it's evenly on it. Okay, and I like to do this on a practice sheet so that you can kind of see how close you want to be and how far away you want to be to get the different white stars and then you just pull with your thumb, pull back, and then just move around where you want your stars. And you can see where your white splatters are and then you wanna do that on your dark blue canvas. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna add a couple of dots in here that are bigger. You can put in any constellations if you want. Okay, and just make sure you're using a round brush that has a small tip at the end to get that small, small star in there. So before you do your big star, you're gonna wanna add some lighter area behind your star here. And we're gonna do it in this top left corner. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna kinda go around with my brush, okay? And I'm just adding in a lighter area. And if any of your stars are um, not dry yet, then they will just blend right in. So you might want to wait for things to dry. Okay, and see how there's a lot of paint on my brush? I just took off some of that paint so I can kind of blend this a little bit better. Okay, and I'm going to go in a circle here. I may even take this brush that I don't have any color on, we'll put a little water on it, and just blend to the outside. See how it kind of blends that? And because there's no color on it, it just takes that tiny bit of color and it blends those edges. Okay, and then this is where some mountains are, so I'm just going to kind of give a little indication of where these mountains are at. Just took some of that blue. Okay, some more mountains. Okay, and I'm just spreading that across like this. I'm gonna give that the light and shadow area. There we go. So that's how easy it is to make those mountains in the back. And then if you find like it's too strong, then you can just add some blue over it. So with that dark blue. See, it'll blend it a little bit more. See? So you can kind of play around with how you want that to look. I'm going to now add a dot for the light right in the middle. Okay, and it's a bigger star. It's a humongous star. 
So you can make this dot as big as you want. Okay, then I'm going to take my flat brush and because it has this nice edge, I'm going to use that edge to create the sparkle coming from the light. So I have loaded my brush, but I don't want too much on it that it um it's going to blob. So I'm just checking here. Okay, and then I'm going to put it straight in the middle, straight up and down, vertical right in the center of my circle. Okay, and then I'm going to do one that's horizontal. See how I didn't load my brush anymore? I have plenty on there. Then I'm going to make my X. Make this line just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go up. And then I can make this line a little bit bigger too. Notice how I haven't gotten any more on my brush because I'm just letting it be lighter on those edges. You can make your star go out as far as you want it to. Okay, so after this is done and dry, you're ready for the next step. So throughout here, we have some mountain layers and we have this bright layer through here that's going to create this um, eye catching, like it's gonna make your eye go boink up to here, okay? And also our silhouetted wise men need to have a light background to be on to be dark enough so that there's enough contrast. So even though this is all dark blue, it's going to lighten up and we're gonna keep some of the dark in there, but we're mostly gonna go over it. So first of all, what I like to do to lighten it up is I like to grab my big, nice wash brush and it doesn't have to be a clean brush for sure. And I'm going to create this purple color and because we have this palette already, we can create any colors we want from this palette. There's no rules. So here's this pretty purple color. Add a little white to that. Okay, it's definitely not like a bright purple, but it's gonna get us a little bit different of a color right through here. And I'm just going to create this flat edge across right here. Okay, then I'm going to lighten this up quite a bit right here, coming down, okay, and this is where the city is going to go, so the light of the city is going to shine on that, okay, and I'm going to get in some turquoise color right here on the sides. Yes, it's going to be a little bit more of a contrast. So it's gonna lighten up quite a bit. And the turquoise on this side. Okay, I'm gonna move this over so you can see what colors I'm pulling from. Now I'm gonna take that turquoise, I'm gonna add it to this area down here, but I'm gonna leave some of that dark color. Okay. Just a little bit. This is just very loose. Don't worry about it having to be perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna create this middle ground. So I'm washing out my brush and I'm going to pull from my gold. Now if you don't have gold, you can take your bronze yellow and you can create a color. And I'm going to do that because my gold is pretty translucent. I'm going to make a gold and then I'll go over it with gold and it's going to shimmer. So I have my gold right here. My bronze yellow I mean. Add a little bit of white to that. This is the color I get. And I'm going to create the middle ground. So right through here. Okay. And I'm just gonna create some slight mountains. Now this is like the sand. Okay, 
and you're gonna see some of that blue in the background that's okay that's what we wanted it to do okay I'm just going to bring that sand color all the way down covering that blue. Okay. I am going to leave some of that blue right here for shadows and I'll probably pull some blue back in. Now just for a festive touch I'm going to add some of this purplish red in here just to give it some more dimension. Okay. Let's come up here in the mountains a little bit. You can decide if you like it or if you don't like it from what I'm doing here. Go blend it a little bit with that gold. Just giving it a little more dimension. I'm going to add a little bit more of that dark in here just for some contrast and I'm going to create a little hill for the camels to be sitting on. So I want it to be pretty close to the middle where the camels are going to be on it so I'm going to move my line to about right here and that's where the shadow is going to start for those camels. Pull down a little bit. Okay. And we got three camels, so we got three shadowed things. So I'm going to leave that light right in between there. And I'm just going to taper that off. And then you should be done with your middle ground. Now the city's next. This is pretty easy. You just need your flat brush for this. And we're going to be using the edges of the flat brush to create the city. Now the trick with the city is you're just going to be making buildings with your brush. So, so it's going to be sitting right here on this um, tan line I guess you would call it and I'm going to start from the very edge of the city so I'm just going to take my brush and move down okay and that's going to be a building now I'm going to take my brush and go vertical this time to create a bigger building and if I don't want it to hit all the way down then I just slightly lift my brush Okay, and then there's a second building. So buildings far away, they're pretty easy to make. If we want like maybe something super tall, then I would just use my whole brush and move it across. Okay, so you can just play around with that. Your city does not have to look exactly like um, Bethlehem and it does not have to look exactly like mine so just kind of play around and then I like to make sure that I have some arches in there so I'll go back in with my round brush and my dark blue and just because arches are kind of a thing there I will um, put in that shape and you create that arch and fill it in okay and then that looks really like a building it looks awesome okay and then I tend to on this edge make that taper off just so it leads your eye up to this so I'll put in some more buildings that are kind of taller you can put windows whatever you want just do it with the dark so that there's enough contrast um, you could make the top of them rounded so you could take your white here and round some of the tops of these so 
and go ahead and play with your city and then we'll let that dry. Right below the city I'm just creating some shadow with some blue on my brush. Okay, and then the other should be really really light and shiny because it's right next to that star so I'm just gonna kind of lighten that up right next to this it's not shadowed area and then add a little bit of white just enough that it's gonna cover it but it's not going to cover all the paint underneath okay all right and that's gonna build up to that area so it's gonna build your eye up there so for this next step we're gonna draw out the wise men and I'm using a watercolor pencil for this so that we can just take water and erase any lines that we don't like this is when it comes in really handy to have my reference photo and create full art members get my reference photos for these so you can click right here if that's something that you're interested in doing okay and so I'm just going to look at the basic shapes of camels okay so I have my own reference photos that I'm going by now I want this camel to be really close to the city but not covering the city okay so I'm gonna push it down to where the head's gonna be about this about right here sometimes I have to dip my pencil in the water to get it to move Okay, and this is really light gray, so you're hardly even going to be able to see most of this. Okay, and then I just do the shape of my camel. So I have the head, and I come down. I have the body. Okay, and then I want the legs to hit about right here on this edge. Okay, so I might have to move my camel or my edge depending on how that's going to work out down and then come back up for the hump come back okay and then the legs come in and they go back out and straight well slanted in like that okay so this does take some drawing skills but if you get my reference photo I do not mind if you print it out and trace it whatever works for you and then I'm gonna have the guy on top and the guy is going to be hitting the dark sky okay so you may not be able to see this but maybe just slightly but that's the first guy okay and then I'm pretty much lining up the other ones so I'm gonna have the other camel head right here and just make his legs a little bit different so that it's you know more interesting to look at so I'm going to have this leg coming back like that. If they all look the same, it's going to be like, mm, that's weird and not interesting. Okay, have his legs come forward like that, and one, come back. Okay, he's got the butt coming out. <laughs> this one I'm going to put like maybe um, a little chair for the guy to sit in. All right, here's the guy maybe I'll put a crown on him I don't know yet comes down neck comes up and meets that head okay so once you have all your camels put in okay I'm just gonna put in my third one lined up again once you have that then you're ready to go on to the next step where we're gonna create a silhouette so if you want a small line you have to make sure that you aren't putting a lot of pressure on your brush where you want the small line okay so I'm using a small tip brush and when I want it to just fill in and be thicker I'm going to push harder on my brush okay now I'm dipping in to my dark blue so I'm starting with this back camel and I'm just following the lines that I created and I'm going to make it all blue for now you're gonna do the same thing you're just gonna fill in your shapes with the blue fill in your wise men that you drew as well this is gonna take me quite a bit of time and it'll take you guys quite a bit of time too so just take your time on this step pause the video if you need to and just fill these in so a couple things that I did to my camels 
I haven't done to this camel yet. So I added some little um, lines down here, you know, because they have some decorations. And then I added a line right here. And I'm going to make this one just a little bit on the red side because the light shining on this guy a little more, you're going to see a little bit more detail. So I'm going to make his red. Okay, where he's holding on to the camel. And just add a little bit of red right here. Okay. And add a little gold like around his neck right here. He has some decorations. And add a little red right here for his. All right, and then I'm gonna just take my round brush and I'm gonna add a little white to their heads. Okay, now you can add a crown if you want. I'm just gonna add, you know how they have the the cloth around their heads and here I'm gonna give this one a crown. It's a little bit of gold. Just ever so slightly this line. So the thing is um, you don't want to get caught up in the details but you want to have enough that it kind of makes sense to your eye. And I'm gonna grab my flat brush and I'm gonna put in the shadow of their legs and then everything else will just kind of look like it should. So light is coming from this angle so, just kind of put that in. You're just following that same angle on all of it. Okay. And then what I do is I just kind of mm -hmm, put that in like that. Here's your shadow of a blob. Okay. All right. And then I do that on all of them. Okay, and I'm just using this as my line that I follow. So it should point to there. And then another shadowy blob. Okay. And same thing here. And this one's got such dark area that it's not going to see much of it. And shadowy blob. Okay, so on this step, and I started doing that down here, you just come in here and you start creating some of the detail work. Now, um, I have some of my stars shining on my mountain underneath this, and stars don't shine on the mountain. So I'm coming in here, covering that. Anything that when you look back and you're like, hmm. I would like to do this and this and this is what's going to create a different painting for you and I so your outcome is going to be different than mine and that's what this channel is kind of about I'm teaching you how to create this but you're also learning how to get creative and think outside the box and do some things a little different than what I'm doing just pull in your own ideas and don't be afraid of it um, you can't really ruin it you can always go over any mistakes that you don't want to keep. So I'm looking for balance. I'm looking for um, whether my eye leads the right way, whether um, things are too contrasted against each other, or um, I want to soften certain things, or um, I want to add more details anything like that. So this is what it finished out to be like. I got some great sunshine outside so I'm going to show you how it glimmers with the gold metallic paint with the sunshine on it. So I don't know if you can see that but that is one of the finishing touches and then I went ahead and signed my name with metallic as well. 
So this is what I'm going to keep it as. I hope you enjoyed painting with me today. If you have any questions on this tutorial, let me know in the comments. Make sure to sign up for art lessons right here if you're interested in those and check out these other videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for creating with me. Bye-bye.